All right, last month, Biden nominated Rupali Desai, a radical Arizona-based lawyer, to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. So who exactly is she? You argued that it would be a problem to extend an exemption uh, on, on the grounds of uh, religious freedom uh, to a particular small business. You've been very active in an organization that fights against school choice in Arizona. You chose an area of the law that really requires you to wear a jersey. You clearly do have a, a, a liberal worldview. Well, a liberal worldview, that's an understatement. As first reported by Fox Digital, Desai serves on the board of Just Communities Arizona. It's a group whose mission it is to create a world free of prisons and punishment. So how do you seriously consider having someone on the bench who doesn't seem to believe in our criminal justice system? That's wild even for the Ninth Circuit. She also worked as an attorney for Planned Parenthood and helped launch the state's recreational marijuana program. She's a real gem. Here now is uh, Mike Davis, president of the Article 3 Project, former chief counsel for nominations of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Mike, great to see you in studio. Why is this nomination of the Court of Appeals so bad, and how, why does it have to be stopped? This one is particularly bad. Uh, out of all the Biden nominees, she's right up there with one of the worst. She's worked with George Soros, the ACLU, Planned Parenthood, Open Borders Group, La Raza, the teachers' unions, she's advocated for abolishing prisons, defunding the police, mask mandates in schools, CRT in schools. She's, she's a left-wing radical. Well, the, the criminal justice issue, that in and of itself seems to be a disqualifier. She doesn't believe in prisons, and she doesn't believe in punishment. How do you sit as a federal appellate court judge if you don't believe in either of those things? Well, you, you, you don't. And she also thinks that our criminal justice system is racist. And so uh, she, she's going to have a hard time doing her job. Now, instead of pressing uh, Desai on any one of those issues that we talked about, here's how Secretary, uh, Senator, excuse me, Cory Booker used his time during the confirmation hearing. Watch. You can rest because I just want to talk to you a few minutes. I do not have questions. I just want to tell you both how grateful I am that you're here how grateful I am to the president for nominating you. I think we are privileged to have you before us. You're both competent jurists. You both have demonstrated yourself to be truly qualified. Mike Spartacus had a lot of questions there. There's just no, over, there's no, there's no concern at all for oversight qualification. But this is what got them in trouble with Kamala Harris. And now they're putting, we're trying to put this other woman on the Ninth Circuit. And it's, it's going to run into other problems. Do you think someone like a, a Joe Manchin would support this? Well, what's surprising is these two Arizona senators who are supporting this nominee. It's an Arizona Bay seat. Kirsten Sinema and Mark Kelly are supposed to be moderates. Moderates. Yeah, and they're, they're far from moderates. When it comes to throwaway votes, they pretend they're moderates. But when it comes to lifetime appointments on the critically important federal courts of appeals, they, they vote in lockstep with all these radical nominees. So for Blake Masters, who's running, you know, probably be the nominee to go up against Kelly, that's, this is a major issue in the campaign, or it should be. It, it is. I mean, this this nominee serves on a board where they mourns the execution of a man who kidnapped, raped, and murdered an eight-year-old. In September of 2021, uh, she argued against a provision that would ban mass mandates in schools, saying that children will suffer if that provision becomes law. A great many children in Arizona, she said, will get COVID. They will get long COVID. They will be hospitalized, and they will die. She said that is not hyperbole. Mike, obviously, she was completely wrong, but she was scaring people. Yeah, I mean, she does not have the judgment to be on the Ninth Circuit. And uh, the, the two Arizona-based senators, Kirsten Sinema, Mark Kelly, do have made a very bad decision here by advocating for this. This is why I say that the idea of a moderate Democrat is a unicorn. I mean, occasionally, Manchin will do the right thing, thank goodness, and occasionally Sinema will as well. But when it comes to these these types of radical, you know, appoint. They're, they're, they run for the hills. They, these Democrats vote 100 percent of the time for these radical Biden nominees. Well, we've got to put pressure on the others, including Manchin. Uh, Mike, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.